Hello YouTubers. Well, it is Saturday, May 11th, 2024, and I'm going on a turkey hunt. Um, last two or three hunts I've gone on haven't yielded anything. Now, the first two hunts I went on this year, I got a large gobbler both times. Pretty much came in on a string for the most part. And, uh, Used the 10 gauge Ithaca, which I've been killing turkeys with for the last two or three years. Uh, but I wanted to get one with my bold action 20 gauge. But every time I took it out, I didn't have any luck. Couldn't get anything in range, you know. And uh, I would like to shoot one with the black powder shotgun, but I'm not sure about, not very confident about the pattern on it. And I wanted to shoot one with the bow and arrow. However, not only is it probably the hardest way to hunt turkeys, but I am way out of practice. So I really need to practice before I attempt anything like that. I don't want to end up crippling a turkey. And uh, so, taking the 10 gauge back out with me. Um, call it superstitious, but can't explain why when I switch firearms all of a sudden my luck drops you know maybe coincidence but I'm just gonna don't fix it if it ain't broke I'm gonna take what works what's been working and uh, it's a beautiful day it's supposed to be sunny and in the 70s I think where I'm going so it's I would rather have been there already for the fly down but that's okay. Um, I've done that in the past and usually they're hand up anyway, so I don't get anything. The only time I've really gotten anything real early like this, it was a Jake. And uh, that didn't have any hands. So, <clears throat> got the whole day, sunsets at after eight o'clock, so got plenty of time. Just got to figure out where the other hunters are that are there because I'm sure there will be at least one or two, one, maybe two other hunting parties. But there's plenty of real estate to hide in. I'm, what I'm hoping is there's no hikers or anyone like that that can be a threat to um, the hunting. Anyway, I'm um, going to go on turkey hunt and I hope it goes well. up here and guess what no other rigs no other hunting parties unless unless someone is camping over in the park over here and they walked in and that could always be a possibility but other otherwise there's no evidence of anyone else hunting here so I'm sure someone's gonna show up here in a while but I want to get in there and get established and hopefully there's no hikers or anybody else in there We'll see. Taking the 10 gauge, and I've decided that I'm gonna leave the blind here. Uh, I took the blind last time. The problem with the blind is I, I sit there and I doze off, and then I miss opportunities. And uh, plus, the hens they'll putt, and when they putt loud, it seems like it scares everything else off. So. Um, I've been doing fine without a blind, so I'm going to go in without a blind. Oh, I'm going to take a decoy, though. I'm going to take my decoy, but no blind. And the Ithaca Mag 10, of course. So hopefully this will turn out to be an eventful day. The last time I was up here, um, 
the big area with the gas line up there. I hadn't seen any turkeys for about three or four years. And then I seen something black in the distance. Couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> I couldn't get to my uh, binoculars easily, so I just grabbed the rangefinder, which was in my pocket, and uh, got a look at it. it. was a nice, large male turkey. So, and it's not far from here. I mean, it's just barely in there, so keep an eye out for that. Um, wouldn't mind getting that. But, um, they're turkeys. They travel, so who knows? So, we're past where I hunted last Thursday. And the same hen was there, the one that putted. And, uh, Anyway, she squatted down, and then I stopped to look to make sure it was her. She stood up, but she didn't. She didn't get all that frightened. For some reason, it seemed like she found me on my bicycle less threatening than the blind, which seems really odd. So anyway, I'm gonna move on. Haven't heard a gobble yet. But the hen not being with the male kind of tells me that uh, they've already separated, maybe. Well, so far, nothing um, other than one hen I ran into, which was the same hen I ran into the other day. Uh, no gobbles, nothing. I, of course, I tried the hen call, and I also tried couple of loud calls, other calls, no force gobbles either, so they may be out of earshot. Or it's one of those times when they're just not talking. So I'm gonna find a place. I'm gonna do a little bit more searching, then I'm gonna find a place and park. And see if something shows up. What I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to go back this way and uh, work my way back towards the bottom end of the meadow. Hopefully, though, that hunters have showed up, because that's usually the first place they go. But we'll take a little chance of that. Ignore the human track, I just made that. But there's a donkey track, it's fresh. It's fresh. Could be today's. So they've, been, they've been up and down this road. It's just a matter of timing.
Pretty nice to something else. Um, I think that's yesterday afternoon. Don't think it's today. Is it? Never know. Just a little bit before 9.30 <clears throat> and still no, no gobbles. <clears throat> so I don't think they're within earshot. Now, hopefully it'll get close enough. I might keep trying. I may move again. I've been here for a while. Here I am back at the uh, spot where I got my first turkey this year. I put the hen down there by that tree. And uh, that hen that I spotted and saw me was down there. <coughs> so, sure she's got a nest in this area. <coughs> but uh, I'm hoping something comes by here. No idea how long I might have to wait. Well, typical Saturday, someone just drove by in a four-wheeler, gas-powered four-wheeler, which makes all kinds of racket. So that screws up my hunting for at least an hour or two, if not the rest of the day. They need to have a four-wheeler season. I blast the hell out of them. The vehicles, that is, not the people. I just disabled the vehicles so the people couldn't drive them. They stopped and looked at my decoy. I was getting ready to yell at them. I thought they were going to try to steal it. It's like, yeah, dude, you guys are in the line of fire. My decoy is on that side of the road, and I'm over here. And guess where you are? You best be moving. This is a closed road, so not breaking any laws, shooting across it or from it, because it's closed. Well, we'll see. We'll see if anything comes back. They're probably going to have to come back through, so unless they take a different route. 
But this is the main, the main road. No one's supposed to go on the other roads with a motor vehicle at all. Now I feel like I'm wasting my time up here. But I will wait and see. Sounds like they might be coming back through. Good. Get the hell out of here. I hope they do hurry up and get out of here. Now, first time I've hunted this, I've seen the male turkey here. <clears throat> they didn't move through here till after 5 o'clock. But there's no guarantee, especially with people stirring them up with four wheelers and stuff. There's no telling. Maybe I should go to Camila instead. I really hate to pack it up and move again. Well, no, I guess they're still going. They don't seem to be getting any closer. Okay, it sounds like that. Four wheelers gonna come back through. So I hope the hurry us hurries up and gets out of here. Because as long as it's driving around in here, it's gonna screw up my hunting. Yep, I hear it coming. I'm gonna get it on video and I'm gonna take pictures on my phone. And I think I'll submit pictures to uh, Fish and Wildlife. They could be authorized people, but I doubt it. Get out of here. Go away. Good thing I'm a nice guy. I put up this crap. Anyway, I took a few pictures with my phone and I'm gonna submit that. Come here and show fish and wildlife. There are some people who are authorized to be in here uh, with a motor vehicle, but I seriously doubt it's them. But I have no idea for sure. They could turn around and shut this whole place down and not let anyone in here. Be no skin off my nose just to stop them. I'd find another, another place to hunt for a year or two. Well, talk about an anticlimactic. What a disappointment this day was. Beautiful weather in the 70s. Clear sky. Bluebird day. I expected gobs of gobbles. All I seen was one hen turkey, the same one that was crabby with me the other day. Didn't hear a single gobble. Didn't see a single male turkey. Rode all out, went all over in there at the end of it to see if I could get something to gobble, even a forced gobble, nothing. I think they've left the area. I think that the hunting pressure has moved them. So I'm going to have to probably go to a different location next time. 
it's either that or maybe <clears throat> come back in a week, day after work, and there's less hunting pressure then. Maybe they'll be back in, or other turkeys will move in. We'll see. Or maybe they were all shot. I kind of doubt it though, but if all the adult male turkeys are shot, then next year there's going to be a whole bunch of young males here. A whole bunch of jakes. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if that pans out. Anyway, uh, after sitting in that last location for about six and a half hours, I had enough of that. So, but I couldn't find them. Could not find the turkeys anywhere. So I think that they have moved out of the area. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Special thanks to my patrons. And uh, till next time, happy hunting.